And welcome to another Lion's Table. Indeed, if each of us are free indeed in Jesus Christ, then it's our individual responsibility to share that truth with others face to face, one on one. You don't need a man-made structure to do that. This is how every man and woman can be a soldier for Christ. They give and share the word of God in the place where they are, the truth of being his creation. The man and woman in a hovel in Botswana or the man in a mansion in Brazil or the woman cleaning the hotel, the garbage man, stay-at-home mom or nurse, the airline steward, the man or woman in prison, the rich man, the poor man, the educated and ignorant man and woman. Everyone can be a soldier for Christ. Amen. We, in the place where we are, discover the Christ through the same revealing power that Peter experienced. And from that place, we love God and serve God by delivering the good news. Now we have a confidence that we never had before, a new meaning in our lives in which we are ministers of a new covenant, just as the disciples and Paul. We are confident in our Savior who was, is, and will be, who is the light of the world that darkness cannot overcome. Second Corinthians 3, 3-5 three through five says, Indeed, it is clear that you are the result of such ministry, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Such confidence before God is ours through Christ. Not that we are competent in ourselves to claim that anything comes from us, but our competence comes from God. And because of my chains, most of the brothers and sisters have become confident in the Lord and dare all the more to proclaim the gospel without fear. Philippians 1.14 For in him and through him and through faith in him we may enter God's presence with boldness and confidence. Ephesians 3.12 Well, I tell you, if that's not being a soldier for Jesus Christ, I don't know what is. Absolutely. Indeed, with boldness and confidence, we are effective in prayer. 1 John 5, 13 to 15 says, I have written these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. And this is the confidence that we have before him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we already possess what he, we have asked of him. Amen. For sure, confidence in Christ. And Psalm one forty five nineteen. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears the cry and saves them. Matthew seven seven says, "Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you." John fourteen verse thirteen, and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. First John three twenty one. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God. 1 John two twenty eight, And now, little children, remain in him, so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. So people, we have absolute confidence in Christ in everything that he says we have. Thank you for joining us for this Lions Table. We hope this has been a blessing to you. Please join us again next time.